Hi, this is Sweet June. SJ Talks in Life coming at you with back at you with another video. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you. I noticed uh, here over the last few years um, about uh, Sierra and Russell Wilson. Um, people, ever since they got married, people have been hating on their union particularly black men. I noticed that black men are very salty. Um, ever since Sierra uh, hooked up with uh, uh, Russell Wilson, um, black men have been very, very salty. They've been very salty about it. Um, and now they've been, they, they've been ragging on uh, Russell Wilson for marrying her. Um, it's like this mentality that black women are not worthy. Like this mentality, they don't. They, for some reason, they don't think that sister is worthy of a good man. And I say, you know, um, that's it's crazy, and it just keep continuing to rag on him and talk about him. But what my, what my issue is is like, it, white black men are always saying how black women need to choose better. They're always talking about how black women need to choose better. You need to choose better. You're single mom. Well, you should have chose better. You need to choose better. But why is it when a black black woman does choose better, then you you have a problem with it and you got something to say about it? Sierra chose better. She chose better. And you got now you got a problem with it. See, sometimes when us black women are young, we make we choose a man. If we, we grew up without a father figure or whatever, or depending on the neighborhood and environment that a black woman has grow, grown up in, she has a tendency to make choices based on her environment that she grew up in or not having a father figure in her life. And, you know, when you're young, you, you know, it's a lot of things you don't understand. There's a lot of things you don't know. And sometimes you choose a certain type of man because, well, a lot of times black women don't know what a good man and what a really real good man really is. And sometimes when you're young as a black woman, you don't know your worth. And so you will, you would pick certain types of men based on not having a father figure or your environment, or whatever. And as black women grow and mature, as we grow and we, and we mature and we, we get, we, if we got into some bad relationships, we learn from those relationships and we gain wisdom we start to make better choices. Because they're always saying, well, you get with this certain types of men when you're younger, then all of a sudden you might have a child or whatever, or children. Now you're something you want a good man. That's because she, as we get older, when we know better, we do better. It's, and, it's, and, and, and it's a lot of times, young young black women, you know, we don't know our worth sometimes when we're younger, but then as we get older, we learn our worth. Sierra is, she's, she's, she's talented. She's smart. She was successful. She got with future and you know, he wasn't the right type of man. He had that thug mentality. I understand that he's got children by multiple women. Well, he, he wasn't willing to settle down and get married. He wanted to play the field. Sierra learned her work and she got to a place where she wanted something better. She felt like she deserved something better. She said, hey, I'm smart. I'm, ta I'm talented. You know, I'm successful. I'm beautiful. I don't, this is not what I deserve. I, I deserve to have a good man. And she learned her worth. She learned her worth and she got what she felt like she deserved. She chose better. Isn't that what she did? She chose better. You guys are always you guys are always ragging on black women about us choosing better. Isn't that what she did? She chose better. She chose better. And now that she chose better, you guys got a problem with it. Sometimes that man is of another race. And when she picks a man of another race that that fits meets all her qualifications, then you got a problem with that. But isn't what you guys are always saying that we need to choose better? But then when we do choose better, you got a problem with it. You're always saying that we need to, we need to choose better. Sierra chose better.
But you guys have a problem with it. And they keep ragging on Russell Wilson about, uh, they keep getting on him and ragging on him about hooking up with her. Well, he's seen the diamond in her. He sees a beautiful diamond. The Bible says a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. When a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. Russell found, Russell Wilson found his good thing in Sierra. And he wiped her up. And a lot of these black men out here, they have this mentality that black women are not deserving because she had one child. Used to be a one child. What's the problem? Used to be one child. What used to, if a woman had one child, that used to be not a problem. Now that's a, that's the an issue because she had one child. So so what? She had one child. See you you look down on men. That's being a real man. Russell Wilson is being a good man. He's doing what a man's supposed to do, and you guys have a problem with it. You you have a problem with it because you have issues and you need to fix that. You have issues. Something is, is not right with you if you got a problem with that union. Something is not right with you and you need to fix it. Because Russell, from where I from where I'm sitting and what I can see, he's doing what a real man is supposed to do. He's being a provider. He's being a loving husband. He's being a wonderful father figure to her first child. That's a good man in my book. That's a real man in my book. He's treating her with love and respect. And if you don't think that's what a man's supposed to do, then it's you that have issues. It's you that have a problem. You need to look in the mirror at yourself. And this mentality that you think that black women are not worthy of a lot of black women are not worthy. Well, she she was smart. She's smart. She's talented. She's beautiful. She was successful. Why wasn't she worthy? She's got a lot of good qualities. Why isn't she worthy? Absolutely. Of course she's worthy. We get to a place... We, we go through some bad relationships. We, we learn from those bad relationships. We get older. We get wiser. We mature. And we learn our worth. And once a woman learns her worth, it's worth waiting. It's worth its weight in gold. You're not going to no longer settle for less. You're not going to settle for those, future, for those future types. Because you know that's not what you deserve. You know that you deserve something better than the future types. And that's what happened with Sierra. She learned her worth. She knew what she deserved. And she chose better. So what's the problem? If she chose better, then isn't that what y'all always saying that we're supposed to do? Is choose better? That's what she did. She chose better. And I just, I'm just, I'm just amazes me how they keep hating on this couple. How they keep hating on this couple. They keep hating on he's successful, she's successful. They're a beautiful family, but they keep hating. And it's out of jealousy. It's because they're jealous. Because they can't have a beautiful, talented, and smart woman like C black woman like Sierra. They're salty. They're bitter. Because anytime you you always got something to say about somebody that's good and that's doing the right things, okay, well that's Okay, that's a reflection of you. You 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 you're bitter. You're jealous and you're bitter and you need to fix it and you need to get yourself together. Maybe if you step up your game, you can you can get you a good woman like Sierra. If you step up your game. But black men need to stop with all this. That's the reason why we so behind the the as black people we that's this is so reason why we're so far behind there's no reason why we can't get ahead because we're always tearing each other down instead of instead of 
being happy for one another, supporting one another. We always want to tear each other down. You know, YouTube is a reflection of that. You see yeah, black women hating on black men, black men hating on black women. We always tearing each other down instead of lifting each other up like we're supposed to and supporting one another. You see a, a, a man doing some good things, being a good husband, provider, all that. You got a problem with it. That shows the dysfunction. That just shows the dysfunction of a lot of black men, the mentality, dysfunctional thinking of a lot of black men out here. And I, I'm just over it. I'm over all this hatred towards Lee, Sierra, and Russell Wilson alone. Leave them alone. They're, they're a beautiful couple. Look in the mirror at yourself and look at your own life. And with, fix whatever it is that you need to fix about your own life instead of sitting around hating on somebody else. It's not their fault. It's not Russell's fault that you got that thug mentality. It ain't his fault that you got that thug mentality. You need to fix that. It ain't his fault that you believe in treating women like trash. You need to fix that. It's not his fault that you don't have no respect for women. And that's why you can't pull a good woman. So stop hating. And stop talking about how women need to choose better, how black women need to choose better, and then when they do, you got a problem with it. It's you that's the problem, not them. It's you need to look in the mirror at yourself. Because it's hatred and it's jealousy and you are the common denom denominator. You steady hating on them. You are the common denominator. You need to find out what's going on with you. See God and find out what's going on with you. And get yourself together. Then you don't have time to hate on some other successful people that's doing good. So, sister, let me know what your thoughts are on that. People constantly, consistently hating on Russell Wilson and Sierra, people consistently hating on them. You know, she choosing better. Brothers have a problem with it. They salty because she choose, she's, she's choosing better. I guess they wanted her to stay with the thugs. And, but stay salty because she's choosing better. So hit me up and sisters, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Um... And men, be nice. <laughs> to my new subscribers, I want to thank you so much. And um, hit that subscribe button. And hit the, Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And hit the notification bell so every time I do a video, you'll be notified. And until the next video, be blessed.